Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Square Hue The Waltz Collection Unboxing and Swatches. Here is my box from Square Hue. Um, I, this will be my last kind of review demo of the Square Hue subscription as they have decided to stop doing subscriptions. It has turned into a, you know, you go to their website and you pick out what you want and you order and pay for it. So no more monthly subscriptions. Now, I'd already made up my mind before they did this announcement that this was going to be my last box. Not because I don't love Square Hue, because I do, but, I, you know, I, there's too many other boxes popping up out there, and I want to give them all a try. So, this month's theme was the Waltz Collection, and it is the dance theme this year. And they've got their little swatch sides over on the card that you can use, you know, to swatch the polishes. And I'm going to go ahead and break this out. This one is beautiful. It's like a silvery blue, a frosty blue. And I'm really excited about this one, especially with winter coming on. And this one is called Whisk. The next one is kind of a topper. And I wasn't excited. And this is like Flecklers. I don't know how they, they've got it spelled crazy. And then finally, we have this beautiful red, and they're calling this red Canter, but they're saying that it is a matte polish. And when I first did it on the swatch wheel, I don't think it looks matte at all, but the next day after they dried down, it was totally matte. It was very pretty. So here we go with our first coat of Whisk. And I really do think this one's going to be great for some winter manis. It's just got all the right qualities for a winter mani. It's shiny and got some bling to it to make you happy, but it's in the right color range for doing like snowflake scenes or snowmans or, you know, whatever your heart desires. And next we're going to go in with a coat of the topper. And I can't pronounce this one. I've tried. It's like flickerels or flick, flickerels. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. But since it's a topper, I have laid down some black, and I'm going to put this over the black, and oh, I'm changing my tune. Look how pretty that is. I wasn't excited about this one at all, but now, mm-hmm, I mean, I'm excited. It's got so many pretty colors, and I have made a big blob of a mess, so we're going to wipe that off real quick. Had way too much polish on there, so we've swiped the blob off, and now let's go in and actually do some swatching. And this one's rather sheer. It's actually kind of looking jelly-like, which, you know, for a matte cream, I wasn't expecting that. But it's a beautiful shade of red. And now we're going to go back to Canter. No, Whisk. Whisk. I'm sorry, the red one was Canter. Oh, I'm losing it. If y'all find it, let me know. So here we go with the second coat of this one. And I think two coats is going to be fine for this one. I don't think you're going to need any more than that. Such a pretty shimmery light frosty blue. And I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of the topper. And I will leave a link for Square Hue down in the box below if you're interested in going and seeing what they're up to and, you know, what they have available. I've been with them for two years, so I think that that was a real good run. Um, you know, two years, two whole collections, three polishes a month. So, you know, I have a lot of faith in them, and I hope they do well. And I'm not saying I won't ever buy any more squirky polishes. I'm just, you know, I won't be doing the monthly subscription thing. So, like I said, there's so many indie makers out there just blowing it out the park, just coming up with so many amazing polishes. And I kind of just want to dabble in that. Here goes that second coat. Of canter such a pretty red and I'm gonna do a third coat of canter because it's just it's still I can see through it you know this one might be one that benefits from an undie another similar red or you might like that kind of squishy look jelly look and to me that's not really squishy but more just see-through so you know, but it is a beautiful shade, and I love that it, you know, mattifies down. It's just 
a really unusual polish from Square Key. So today I'm going to do some stamp testing. I know it's been a minute since I've done this. I don't think I've done it in the last couple of videos. And we're going to start with the red one, which is Cantor. And see what we get with that. It shows up really great over the white, but not so much over the black. But these are not stamping polishes, so, you know, you just hold your breath and hope that you get something out of them. And next we're going to go in with Whisk, metallic -y Blue. Let's see how that one looks. Okay, well, I didn't get that one on the thing very good, so we're going to give this another try. I'm actually even going to use another plate and stamper. Because sometimes that's what you run into with stamping. You know, it's hit or miss sometimes with, you know, what works and what don't work. There we go. Beautiful pickup. And here we are. Excellent. It looks great over both. Love it. So that one definitely could be used for stamping. I'm going to try this um, like ugly sweater looking design. Again with the red one. There we go. Kind of hard to see with it being a red stamper, but we're going to go ahead and give it a go. So there we go. Look at that. I think it turned out really well. I didn't expect it to show up really great over the black, but, you know, yeah, we're going to give it a try anyway. So here we go. We have Canter, and then the Topper, and Whisk all swatched out. Loving that topper, by the way. I just think it's really, really pretty. So, that is all I have for you today. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.